video I'm going to talk about or more so not talk about I'm going to list my personal picks for the top three dream Netflix series not just Netflix but you got Hulu all these other streaming platforms uh, I'm probably gonna forget some Netflix or Hulu if they did these three series just take my money that they hit that day out number three Coach Carter slash Hurricane Season. I mean, I'm a hoop maniac. I'm a hoop fiend. I love basketball, everything about it. But to see an actual series, especially, I'd have to lean more so upon if we were to look at the, the various films and everything, which film would do the best as a series. It's like, well, Above the Rim is about one guy, you know. And it's like, yeah, you can get a lot of equity out of one guy, but you know when above the rim ended i didn't want any continuation i got everything i wanted out of it when uh he got game was over i got everything i wanted out of it you know the guy went to college you know his dad is still trapped in jail over some bs and i'm like okay you know and all the other movies in and you're just kind of sort of like you're not wondering what happens next you know white men can't jump in and you're just like oh, okay that's it you know they probably just hoop a little bit more you know but with Coach Carter and Hurricane Season, those two in particular, you're like, man, I need more of this. I want to know what happens next. I want to know what happened with the whole Ashanti and old dude. I want to know what happened with that and that. Hurricane Season is a big one because even though they had a whole squad of dudes and everything, they only focused on mainly one. But I would love to see a, an actual series, you know, give it 10 to 13 episodes of just exploring it because Hurricane Season probably got the most... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Equity, um, the most knowledge on it because you've got New Orleans post Katrina. You got them building this team, and you only really talked about the story of one guy when you got a team of nine to twelve of them. You know, Coach Carter explored. It was primarily two or three of them that it really went in on. Like, for example, Worm, we didn't hear a lot about Worm's story like that. Worm was just, you know, cocky kid, loved the ladies. But, you know, the, the most we remember about Worm is him getting drunk at the party, you know, and piping out the uh, the chick whose house it was. He getting yelled at on the bus, you know. He never really went into what was, you know, pushing him and driving him. So, yeah, pick number three on the list would have to be... Coach Carter slash Hurricane Season. Number two would have to be Black Panther. <laughs> and to those who know me know it's no surprise I'm putting Black Panther at number two. But not no cartoon movie, but another live action featurette of it would have to be done. But maybe I should add an asterisk. The Black Panther slash Storm uh, story because, man, that, that takes a lot. And the fact that they didn't put her in the first movie, it's like if they don't put her in the second movie, then definitely just do a Netflix series on how that whole thing developed between those two, because it's a very interesting uh, story arc. So I'd love to see that explored as far as, um, you know, the real Nakia, which they tweaked and changed in the movie. Uh, Black Panther, like the cartoon series of Black Panther are always good, but they don't knock your socks off like, you know, Spider-Man anime series or even Batman anime series like some some stuff is better when done live action you know Batman holds up well on both sides of the screen where yeah you could take well I don't know because Batman anime series is it's a very very well done uh, animated series but all the other Batman stuff that they try to animate for the most part as TV series yeah y'all could have kept those now the you know one and done movies are, are pretty well done but an actual series nah 
same with Spider-Man to a degree. Like the anime series from the 90s is, is the one that everyone really looks to, but every other one, you know, that they've redone is just kind of, no one talks about those, you know, because they don't hold up so well. So Panther, mm, I mean, they they did a series for BET or whatever, but mm, Grant of Salt is BET. <laughs> But overall, I'd love to see the Black Panther Storm story put together. As well as just more Panther. Live action, definitely. Definitely live action. Because they've they tried to do the cartoon thing with them a hundred times. And it just, just don't work like that. But you do a live action movie of it, it's, it's doper. You know, so yeah. Live action Panther. Instead of this cloak and dagger. Man. Oh, wow. We... We ain't talk about Logan Daggy yet. Ooh. But anyway, Black Panther number two. Number one on the list of series that I would love to see Netflix or Hulu do. I'm a gamer. I love my video games. So, fighting game, definitely. I actually had a discussion with my brother um, yesterday, and he was like, man, what if they did a Tekken series on Netflix? And I thought about it. I was like, dude, they tried a movie and failed at it. He's like, yeah, but think about a series, man. He's like, I mean, Daredevil was a movie and a lot of people hated it. But when they came out with that series, I was like, you know what? We hired the clown. He was right. To quote a uh, dude from The Dark Knight. Because, yeah, that's true. Just because something flops as a movie don't mean it's going to be terrible as a series. And Daredevil is a very good example. Of, I, even though I didn't dislike the movie, I actually liked the Daredevil movie, but I'm one of the few. But no one has had anything bad to say about the Daredevil series on Netflix. So if I had to pick a fighting game to get a Netflix series, when you think of Mortal Kombat, you think of Street Fighter, Soul Calibur, Dead or Alive, Tekken, out of those oh yeah king of fighters you know you can't leave that out even though a lot of people do but if i had to pick one <clears throat> it's between i don't want to say mortal kombat even though mortal kombat will work well too because mortal kombat's got a dozen series that have been done on it it's got movies already that actually were good even though mortal kombat annihilation was awesomely bad people still at least watch it give me tekken give me tekken i'm picking tekken but it has to be done right. If done right, it, it could work. But the problem that you run into with Tekken is that only a handful of the characters actually matter towards the main story. The rest of it is just turned into filler, you know, or they'd be good side characters. Like Martial Law can't have his own episode about him. He's just trying to run a damn ramen shop and, you know, get the money to fund it, you know, which, you know, he make a decent side character, but aside from Jin, Kazuya, Heihachi, maybe Nina. Aside from a handful of characters, you don't really get to push the main story out there like that. It's not like Street Fighter. Street Fighter is easier because everyone, in a sense, is connected to Shadow Lu. You know, Chun Li's the Interpol agent. Blanc is connected to Shadow Lu this way. And Ryu, you know. Another thing about Tekken, and, you know, all the Jin fans are going to get mad at you about the Jin is a bit too passive to be the main guy. You know, at least early on, you know, like, Jin can't be the man from day one in Tekken. From the start of episode one, he can't be the man because he's a bit too passive. You know, remember between Tekken 3, Tekken 4, what did this dude do? He walked around with the hoodie, went to Australia, and went to a boxing gym and trained. That's all he did. You know, it's like, I mean, just saying, he can't be the man flat out, you know. If anything, if you to build the, the series around anybody as, as the main guy see I don't even know if Kazuya works that way I mean in the beginning when Kazuya was actually good before he got thrown off the mountain yeah but I mean the safest bet maybe would be make Heihachi the main dude to, to start it off where you could see you know the Zaibatsu Corporation doing their shit and everything but because Heihachi's diabolical enough but entertaining enough and he's connected enough to everything. He's got his hand in everything where you can explore the boundaries. And then maybe later shift it over to Jin slash Kazi and everybody else. But man, Tekken, if done right, would work. But the question is, how How do you do it right? 
because you can't put Hall wrong in there as the main character. No, because that'll get boring. He just he has a man crush on Jen and follows him everywhere. You can't put Christy or Eddie because they're not necessarily serious characters. They just do capoeira, and that's the only reason why everybody picks them. You know, I don't even know why they're in the tournament at this point, to be honest. I completely forgot. You can't put Steve Fox as the main character. He, he's just a boxer who happens to have Nina as his, you know, illegitimate mom. It's it's who you gonna have as the main character, Yoshimitsu? You know, it's like I'm I'm just saying, you know. I know there's a lot of people, you know, who have play tech and love the series, but it's like I would discuss slash debate who the main guy should be. Like who are you gonna ride as the main focus of the story? It has to be either Heihachi Jin or, or Kazuya. There, there's no going past that. Maybe Nina you can add to that list because you know she's so connected to a lot of stuff, but it's gonna have to be uh Mishima at the end of the day, you know. So it's either Jin, Kazuya, or Heihachi. For the most part. It's one of those three. It's gonna have to be the main guy. And out of the three, like who would be the most entertained to hold a serious on his shoulders from if we're going from beginning to the end of what it is now? Because, like I said, Jen to me is a bit too passive about stuff. He's basically trying to run away from the fact that he's got the devil gene in him. And he's trying to run away from it. It's like, man, all that emo stuff, man, come on. Like, it's cool at first, but, you know. I mean, mm, I don't know. Kazuya, I could watch. Heihachi, definitely. I mean, but, I don't mean. Uh, Tekken I would like to see but I don't know how to how that would be done right but if done right it could be something dope uh, Street Fighter probably be second pick because Street Fighter is a lot easier to do because everyone's connected Mortal Kombat to a degree but eh, this is me trying to lobby a vote yeah Tekken I would like to see Tekken done right because at least the rest of them you could say have been done right at least once you know Tekken has never been done right. Never been done right. So it'd be good to see it done right for once. And given the things that we've seen them do on Netflix with, you know, their original series, a futuristic world where, you know, people competing in this tournament, it, it can be done. It definitely can be done. But though I say it for my top three on Netflix list, what are some of yours? I'm out.